this has a built-in combo that I think a lot of people have been exposed to so far. Um, but a lot of people probably haven't. You know, I don't know if all of my audience has seen this combo yet, but a lot of you follow Seth, Saffron Olive, Goldfish, whatever. Um, a lot of you follow CGB. I think he's stumbled upon this combo the other day in a video. Um, and this is, uh, to, me, to me, this has just been a fascinating combo to try and build around. Uh, right now I've got four different decks in the works with this thing. And all of them are really good at grinding. It's what they do. So in case you haven't seen the combo yet. Colossal Sky Turtle is a card that I just I was super high on in the preseason. I'm glad that it's got something to do, right? Uh, but it's a specific combo. Colossal Sky Turtle lets you channel it to get something back from your graveyard to your hand, right? Shigeki allows you to channel it to get multiple non-legendary cards back from your graveyard to your hand. It's a loop that allows you to get back multiple cards every turn or two, especially depending on how much mana you have. The loop is entirely uncounterable because it works in completely off of channel abilities. So it can be interacted with with stuff like overcharged amalgam, right? Like things that can co counter abilities. Mirror Shell Crab, that can counter abilities. So it's not completely uncounterable, but for most purposes, it, it's more, more or less not something that can be interacted with as easily, right? So that's a that's a really good point in its favor. Uh, multiple Sky Turtles you can sometimes get back with Shigeki, and that's a big deal because if you can get back multiple Sky Turtles with a Shigeki, that then allows you to use the Sky Turtle to get back your Planeswalkers or your Asika's Chariot or whatever, and then just get back multiple Sky Turtles again with your Shigeki and like keep doing this. Of course, we've got a Learn Board as well because we have Eye Twitch in the deck. Once these cards go into our graveyard, like a Mascot Exhibition, Mascot Exhibition goes into our yard, we can get it back with a Colossal Sky Turtle, right? So... Just um, just a very, very, very silly thing. Um, <laughs> we can use Shigeki to get back, like, go blank. We can use Shigeki to get back a mascot ex exhibition. Um, containment Breach, sometimes important. We can play multiple teachings of the Archaics in a game because of this. So just a lot of very stupid stuff happens with this deck. So far, the deck has been incredibly strong. But I always say that, and then we come on stream, so we'll test it in the fire of the stream where anytime I call a deck good and I'm really excited to play it, we just bomb. We just go like go zero and six or whatever. So like, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where we go tonight. But I am, I am fairly confident uh, in this deck's ability to ride. So, we'll, we'll see. Are you winning? No, it's been bad so far tonight, dude. It's been a really bad night for the deck. And this is a good deck. Again, I think it's more of a best of three deck. And that we're probably seeing a lot of that right here tonight. This is very much more of a best of three deck. But I still think it's been a really awkward night so far. I've been winning like nuts with this deck off stream. And like so far we're just getting like all of the nightmare scenarios, you know. It sucks. But it happens. That's that's being a streamer. You have to expect it. So far, like, um <laughs> like Remember when I said, like, Mind Link Mech is bad, it's terrible, but, it's, you know, because I'm calling it bad, it's going to win games, and like, we won games all night with it. <laughs> it's like, anytime I think a deck is bad, it's going to just magically win. Anytime I know a deck is good, it's going to lose, like, all night long. I think we play Shigeki. I don't I actually really don't like playing Shigeki to the board in this deck at all. Cave turn one or turn two, Luminarch veteran into voice of the blessed. Uh oh. Yikes. Well, that means we kind of have to have binding next turn. We must have it. So we have to run Wood Falls this turn and miss Gloom Shrieker. But we don't want to play Gloom Gloom Shrieker anyway. Let's just say go. Use our mana to pop Shigeki back to our hand. We can get a land drop that way, too. A cleric class. Haven't played a land yet. Hmm. Holy. Hmm. Well, I think we block with Shigeki. I could get rid of the eye twitch here. But I think we do this. Block Shigeki. Activate ability. Hopefully we don't want whiff. We did not whiff. Oh, we can take an Otawara. Yeah, let's take a Taura. Then we can Deathcap Glade. A little bit of ramp. 
Means we can lull this turn, but I think it's better to just to binding this, but... A one mana white spell that can... Break that. Is there... Is there a one mana white spell that breaks that? In the format? I don't think so. Let's kill their... Ah, uh, don't scoop! Come on, man! Come on, dude! I want to, like, play a game and win, you know? Like, <laughs> just <laughs> scoop to your, your dude getting removed. Come on. Hey, we go first. We got a Kaito. Deadly speed, but no one drop. A one drop would just make this whole hand pop off. But I still think it's keepable. So swamp. Snow covered island for opponent, turn one. What does it mean? What does it mean? Alright, so I think I'm actually going to play Shipwreck Marsh here. I know we can just play it on tap next turn. Well, it's probably better to bluff, but if we do that, we have to play Clearwater Pathway on blue. Yeah, why not? Why not just do that? Opponent may have a one mana play at instant speed here. Consider. It's like the only thing it could be. <laughs> you know? But it can't be anything that needs a target, so it needs to, it should be consider. Second, Snow Covered Island, so it might be mono blue. Suspicious Stowaway. I like where we're going with this. I really do. It's Marsh. Stan Marsh. Kaito. If I discarded something, what would I discard? Eh, let's just make a guy. So we can deadly dispute the guy. Or we can just attack with the guy, draw a card. Whatever, you know. They're going to be drawing cards by attacking with their dudes. Oh, you're just going to Fading Hope? Yeah. Yeah, your Fading Hope is just a removal spell now, buddy. How do you feel about that? They draw with the sus, still away. What do you discard? A Dwari Disruption. That might mean they have multiples, so let's keep that in mind. Flips over to nighttime, which is good for them. It's so good for them. All right, so I think we move to combat and try to attack. See if they fading hope. Yep, they do. So let's put a Deadly Dispute on the stack. We have the mana to pay for a disruption, so that's good. Looks like they will be keeping their werewolf, which kind of sucks. They're going to get a free card and two damage. And then maybe they'll just like spell pierce stuff for the rest of the game, you know? Alright, what will we discard? Rhymewood Falls, perhaps? Another Lolth, huh? Whew, that is hard, actually. I don't think I want this Rhymewood Falls right now. I don't think so. I was it saying I could just... Okay, yeah. We played as lane. So, we play this tapped. We're not doing anything else, right? Yeah, we're not. So. Let's just say go. I could have played the Besaju and tried to meat hook there, but I... Don't think that was correct. They're gonna kill the Kaito with the Seafaring Werewolf. They don't get to draw a card here, in that case. Another suspicious stowaway. Two mana up. Could just be negate or something. I think we do need this land drop. Is there another way to do it? Alright, so. Massacre for one, massacre for one. Can we even do that? No, we don't have the black to do that. We just barely don't have the black mana to do that. See, we should have played that pathway on black way back when. I wonder if we go for binding. Still play through a, dr a drawry that way. And I still think we meat hook this turn. It's all we can really do, right? Ah, oh, come on! So their backup must have been Spell Pierce and not Negate. Right? That's what that means. Probably. So, cool. We, we keep winning games because, um... Because we remove creatures. That's all you have to do. I just want to, like, really show what this deck does, but... The arena refuses. Alright, opponent goes first. We do get our one drop this time. That's cool.
Opponent plays a planes turn one, but nothing else. It's just shambling gas. It's the pumpkin patch planes. Neat. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of basic lands, and that's a good one. They Luminar Casperin, because, you know, they Luminar Casperin. <laughs> it's Lair of the Hydra turn two. Sago. See if we do get bodied by the Sajiri Shelter this time. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're going to limit our gas rent. That's so funny. <laughs> That's really, really funny, dude. Portable! Oh my god, wow! Okay. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Let them put both counters on the one Luminar cast print. See if they do that. It would be a mistake to do that. Okay, they know that. So we'll just Infernal Grass the one that can attack. Good 18. Good lord, what a start by Mono White. God. The pain, dude. Like, that's... Come on, Mono White. <laughs> Two absolutely... But no, but nut starts from Mono White tonight on the docket, and they're on the play too. God, that was so disgusting. Oh, a third Luminar Casperant. They are ten cards into their deck, and they have a third Luminar Casperant. Oh my God, dude. Jesus. Whew. I think I'm allowed to be slightly a little salty. Am I? Can I be? Can can I please? Can I please, guys, be slightly salty about that? I have to give up the combo to do this, but whatever. I'm going to get Tamio and reset the combo. Land. Can Sky Turtle back whichever one is biggest? And then try and Massacre? That could work. It could work. See if it does. There is daylight. Oh my god, intrepid adversary. That's fine. That's not fine. That's not fine. Cool, cool. Okay, so this will still work out. I think this will still work out. We're going to take four, but that's whatever. Let's Sky Turtle this Aspirant back to their hand. They're going to have another Aspirant, though. We get an Infernal Grasp. That's good. That's really, really good. We have two green. Let's go two blue. So let's Massacre for three. Should do it. Go to 16. Alright, they still have four cards in their hand. That's a lot. That is a lot. The Aspirant. What else you got? Nothing so far? Okay. Alright, so... Just binding the aspirin away, I think. That gives us a reason to hold the Tamio in our hand for a minute. So we can get back to binding with the Tamio later. Depends on what we draw. They get an Adeline. They're drawing gas. They are drawing gas. They still have lots of cards in their hand for a mono white aggro deck, right? We get into Tawara, that's pretty good. Let's put the Woodland Chasm out with the Binding. Well, I think we can just Infernal Grasp this turn. Go to 15 and we're fine with that. Could also play the Tamio and tap down the Adeline, right? We'll do that. I think it's better just to get the Binding back, Tamio. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and Infernal Grasp this. Again, here I'm kind of playing around a Sajiri Shelter or some other spell like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hold on to Atara. I think it's better as a removal spell right now. 
Another Adeline. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to be able to do a fun trick here in just a second. You got a one drop. That would actually kind of suck. Because then you get attack and kill the Tamiya. But whatever. Not that worried about it. They pass. They have a play here. They have a one mana play. Oh, we could also uh, massacre if we wanted to. But I think we just Tammy. Bing bong. Get back the binding. Well, we create a token copy of the binding. Kill the Adeline, gain a life, go to 17, they scoop. See, see, now we're doing some stuff that we're supposed to be doing. We can't eye twitch turn one, which kind of sucks because we have deadly dispute. But I'm still going for it. I'll try. I'll try this hand. Let's Woodland Chasm. I hate having this turn backed up, or having this play backed up by a turn, but I think it's still a, an effective enough play. They network Disruptor turn one, so... Could be the ever-elusive Ninjas deck that not a whole lot of people are playing. I'm a little surprised by that. I think maybe we're just still... A little, little... Let me go ahead and Dream Root Cascade. I think that's actually the right play in case we... Get a, a source we'd rather play next turn. Maybe we want double black next turn. So if we draw an untapped black source, it's probably best to go ahead and play the Cascade now. But yeah... Maybe we're just too close to rogues. They offer a trade. No. You can have your damage. See if they then kill the eye twitch. Like, you are not going to deadly dispute that eye twitch, mister. <laughs> Didn't draw an untapped black. That would have been great. But instead, we're doing this. They have untapped mana. You think it's a soaring uh, thought thief? I think it's a soaring thought thief, EOT. Yeah, something hung, right? Hey, hey! The other day I got a comment on a YouTube video and it's by the guy that always leaves negative comments just because he doesn't like me and like half the time he's like really reaching for negative comments. But um, I got a comment the other day that was like, I bet Dev doesn't even know what his opponent's thinking in real life magic or whatever. And it's like, I don't know how you came to that conclusion considering like eight times a night I call exactly what our opponent is about to do. <laughs> like I actually think I'm very good at that. But again, this person just hates me for the sake of ha hating me. So I'm used to that by now. <laughs> they put a sky turtle in our yard for us. Thank you. They will... We'll block with the eye twitch and deadly dispute. Hopefully, we get to resolve it. I thought about going ahead and deadly disputing um, when they went to cast Thought Thief. Think I want a sciences. Not gonna lie, we don't have lands. There's two. There's a treasure. Kaito. Oh, that's a good turn for them, man. It's a really good turn for them. I guess we have to just burn this turn binding the Kaito, but we can't. That's right. It I play the card. <laughs> Played the card a million times. I know it phases out. Well, we can just binding the soaring thought thief. That's not too bad either. I knew I wasn't gonna play the sciences this turn, or at least I didn't think I was. <laughs> I guess we'll see though. I could uh, shambling gas die twitch. It's actually not the worst play in the world. I could go ahead and just sweep the board with a meat hook. That would cost us a treasure, which would honestly suck a little bit. I think we want to twitch shambling ghast. I think we might. Alright, opponent knows that we have an environmental sciences and yet kept two mana up, so they probably know that we have something going on. Here they come. Get their damage. They will draw a card off Kaito and have all their mana untapped, so... You know, we're in a little bit of trouble here, I think. But if we can get back past the initial push, I think we'll be alright. I think I'll just block here, which is the only place I can block. But I think 
I don't think I'm gonna deadly dispute the eye twitch. Ooh, they nashi! Neat. Well, actually, I will deadly dispute. In that case. Sacrifice. I wonder what free spell they get here. Off the Nashi. You don't always see Nashi in these decks. We draw Kaito at a clear water pathway. Those are decent draws. Opponents tapped out, so we get a free we get a free shot on this Kaito here, but what do they get? They get a silver fur master for free. That's pretty good. They draw the card off the Kaito. I don't think they've used it yet. There we go. Kaito's the best card in the ninja deck. Easy, easy. Alright, so... We're definitely binding. We know we're doing that. Then we play Black Source and Shambling Ghast. Probably it. Is there a cheaper way we do this? Is it actually better to just... Sweep right now? I think it might be better to sweep. Could attack first and probably get the damage in. But I don't want to choose to have to kill the Silver Master and not get the treasure. I think we'd much rather have the treasure. We go up to 19. We can shambling ghast here, but I don't know if that's what we want. What do they want to say? It's probably fine. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will go ahead and ghast, actually. Kaito's getting so much card advantage, but. And that may have been wrong. I may have been supposed to kill the Kaito that turn. Because we can we can survive a shot in the mouth, right? Like we can we can survive an attack step. But all this damage off of Kaito, or all this card drop of Kaito is a bit of a problem. They make a guy, Kaito goes down to three. They play a tapped hive. Something we have to remember that we have to deal with. Creature lands are one of the most dangerous things for this deck to run up against. Go to Jukai Visionary. Oh, Shigeki. So, we can land drop into binding. It's probably the idea here. What if we Kaito? Do we have access to anything after that? No, not really. I mean, Shigeki. But I think we environmental sciences into land drop of what land? You can really never have enough black sources in this deck, can you? Let's go that. Especially under these circumstances, because binding has to grab a forest for us. So let's do that. Binding the Kaito. If we can resolve this spell, it's not a guarantee. These decks often have like spell pierce or something. Doesn't though. Kill their Kaito. They may have another. These decks will play for Kaito. We're not blocking anything over there. Probably means they can just ninjutsu cool it and play, but we'll see. Soaring Thought Thief EOT. We're at 21, but there's still going to be a pretty decent attack step here. Especially if they do get a ninjutsu something. It looks like they won't, though. They're just going to Hive. Hive is very good against us. Let's see if they know what to take. I think there may be a Sky Turtle in there. There it is. They didn't get it. We go to 13. Can't do too many attack steps like that. Last forest in the deck. I can Gloom Shrieker and get back a Meat Hook Massacre. But it can't kill the Soaring Thought Thief this turn. That kind of sucks. Opponent gave us a your go, forgetting that sometimes magic players should think about what they do before they do it. I do like getting back meat hook here. 
think we are telegraphing a little bit. Kaito. I was thinking about waiting for the binding to go off and then getting it back with the Shrieker, but I do still think this is probably the best plan of action. They scoop to a resolved Kaito. Why? Why would you do that? Huh. Interesting. I still think opponent kind of had the upper hand here. I think we were a couple of turns. Maybe it's because they don't have a counterspell. Maybe they do not have a counterspell and they know we have meat hook and it's just, you know. But I think that they actually have more with a Hive of the Eye Tyrant than they think. Hive of the Eye Tyrant is really, 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 really good for them. And I don't know how if they know that. <laughs> but we've still, what, we four in a row now? So, sure. Well, we have Sky Turtle in the early game and I don't know if it's going to be enough, but like... Give it a shot against Capybara here. Turn one death cap, sure. Turn two, I think we have to get blue source off of pathway. Here comes Kessig Naturalist for opponent. Clearwater pathway. We can use Kaito to bridge the gap to turn four where we can binding or chariot. This couldn't this could be an okay game. Should have gone ahead and returned it before it got the mana. That's on me. Because now they can like replay it and play like an Ascendant Pack Leader or whatever. Or they could just play Tovalar, which is also something I don't want. They could play a 4-drop and then go like Arlen. None of these are would be great plays. Arlen especially would kind of suck, but... All right, they just go Naturalist into Pack Leader. God dang it. <laughs> I called it and everything, but they do head to two-spell themselves there. So, cool, I guess. We have three of our four Dark War Pathways in our hand. It's Kaito. Mega Duder. Sego. See if that keeps them from swinging with the Pack Leader. But they might be able to, like, Blizzard Brawl or something. Let's see if they Blizzard Brawl before playing a land, because that would be a mistake. Okay, they don't. Snakeskin Veil, perhaps? Could it be? They get their mana from Naturalist. They're going to do something. Okay, they use the mana from Naturalist to Frostbite. They get in for four, so we're at 16. Okay. Fancy Driving Text. Then they play Werewolf Pack Leader. Very nice. All good stuff. Let's draw a discard here. We're going to Besage you. We can probably discard one of these dark boars because we have four of them. We actually had four of them. <laughs> Cute. Never have enough black sources. Let's binding the pack leader. I actually thought about binding the naturalist there. Our opponent appears to be stuck on lands, or at least they were last turn. But there's their other land drop. So can they attack for Arlen this turn? They might just kill Kaito. That would take some of the heat off of us. They can go and Loth or go and Chariot, but it's almost the same play, you know? <laughs> I wonder if Chariot was the right play that turn. But they did have a pack leader. You know? Kind of didn't want them drawing cards or anything. All right, they come in at Kaito with the Ascendant Pack Leader. Naturalist hits us. They're going to have four mana available. That's a lot in this deck. Halana and Alana. Halana and Elena, I think is how you're supposed to say it. That sucks. That sucks, actually. Halana and Elena's uh, Trample Matters. It does give Trample, right? Oh, just haste. I thought it gave Trample. That doesn't matter as much. That changes everything. Um, let's... Didn't expect Halana and Elena. It's a good call in this deck. I think I like Chariot Eye Twitch more than I like Loth. And there you go. Well, it really comes down to how we draw in the next two turns. Halana was a Halana Elena is really, really good right now. It's so good. See what they do. 
still seem to perhaps be stuck on land. But I mean, probably all the land this deck needs to operate. Tovalar would be a fun play because they get to draw cards off of it. Almost certainly. There's a lot of plays here that are interesting. Even just removal spell would kind of hurt. They just moved to combat. They put the counters on naturalist. They get in. So they offer us a trade with Chariot, or we can just block the pack leader. I am really tempted to trade with the Naturalist. But we have Loth, which can crew the Chariot next turn, so I don't think that's the thing to do. I think we trade one cat here, and then we trade the Eye Twitch here. There's like four different ways I could do this, but I'm going to go like this. So Eye Twitch is going to learn, very likely for an introduction to Annihilation. We can Exhibition next turn, though. It's a lot of blockers. It's a lot of blockers, dude. Yeah, I think we'll try Exhibition. Werewolf Pack Leader comes down for the opponent. They say go. Shigeki is our draw. Not great. It's Exhibition. Now, we could copy the 4-4 token and kind of get a free attack step in with the Chariot. But they'll just take it. But that won't really matter. It really, it's almost entirely free. Maybe they double block the chariot, but that's what I want. I want them to double block the chariot. We just kill the Halana and Elena. Oh no, I didn't mean to all attack. Oh crap, can I go back? Ah crap, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. That sucks. It's actually a really painful misclick. That sucks. That sucks. Ouch, 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 ouch. But maybe we can play through it. God. I'll take a misplay. But a misclick is, is pretty painful. They didn't block. They maybe think there's a trick. But I am tapped out. So I don't know. <laughs> I think we got through that one easy. <laughs> they frostbite the 3-2. Okay. Hmm. Are we in a race? Oh, did Binding just go... Oh, did the cat have Death Touch? Huh. Well, then that was the correct play. Here comes the Tovalar. We sussed it out the other turn, but they didn't play it. Because Halana was the better play. <laughs> we got a 5-5 pack leader. They come in with a 4-4 naturalist and the 5-5 pack leader. Resolve all those triggers. I don't know if they can do much with the mana from naturalist here, but maybe they can. Maybe they frostbite. That's why they got red. Oh, if we double block and they frostbite, that's a blowout. Mmm, if we double block and they frostbite, that hurts, dude. They have used two of their frostbites, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm still gonna try it. I think this is the correct play. I really do. Okay. Alright, so we go to 10. We do kill the pack leader. We take four from the naturalist, they draw. Play a land. We get a land off the draw, which is a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. Eight out of sixteen. God, that's so many lands, guys. That's <laughs> so many lands. Oh, it's a painful amount of lands. They scoop to a resolve loth. Why? Why do you why does no one want to grind tonight, baby? No one wants to grind up against this? Why not? Right, opponent goes. We get to play the There's a Meat Hook Masker. Just looking to draw it all last game. Couldn't draw the stupid thing. We had to play like eight bindings and opponent still got us. It was so dumb. It was the second worst game we played all night. Like in terms of just like stupid stuff happening that shouldn't happen, you know? 
<laughs> it's a shambling gas. Jeska, you guys think it's the combo deck? I actually do fear that deck, like, a lot. That deck is going to be really good against us. Because we're trying to grind. That deck just goes, like, it just does a bunch of nuts stuff, you know? <laughs> like, on turn seven. I'm not sure how well equipped we are to do anything about that. This deck needs more instant speed removal. I think somebody said Blood Chief's Thirst earlier. And although that is a good call, I'm actually thinking more along the lines of, like, Soul Shatter. Something that can kill creature lands, something we have a problem with. Planeswalkers, something we have a problem with. But, need to be able to do this all at instant speed, so I don't think a card like Thirst is really where we want to be. Not a great couple of turns for us, because again, they're just not doing anything. We kind of want our opponent to do stuff. Fourth mana. Four telecard. Cool. What an interesting game of Magic the Gathering we're having right now. Dispute is a card I can play. It's good. Second Black Source. Let's get on in. Sega. Opponent will maybe behold the multiverse here. For some reason, I think that's what they foretold. They didn't do it, though. Expressive Iteration. There's their land, the Hall of the Storm Giants. They say go. I guess we'll shoot for the Deadly Dispute right here. The gate counters it? What else? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't get countered. Hey, a second Meat Hook Massacre. This time we're in a matchup where we don't need it, so we draw two in the early game. Arena. Arena's really, like, doing it tonight, dude. We rolled a, we rolled a uh, one when we, when we logged in, obviously. It's eye twitch. Well, I guess we'll just say go. Again, we need opponents to do stuff. We gotta do stuff. <laughs> they're probably just gonna play a whole breaker horror and end our game. That's very likely what they're trying to do. These decks are so boring, dude. But if it's the combo deck, they probably should have done something by now. That's why I think it's Holebreaker Horror. And God. Holebreaker Horror. <laughs> it's not even that it like, needs to be banned or anything. It's just so boring. It's so... It's so stupid and boring. It's just the most boring card they printed in forever. I guess I'll swing. I don't even know if that's right. Yeah, because they could swing with Hall now, so... It's like, we have a lair, but I just think it's a bad idea. Like, I should have probably just scooped this game. I really don't want to play this particular game of Magic. I like to play against creatures for the last game of the night. Nothing, huh? Cool. I guess we'll just... So someone will do something in our game of Magic? I just don't know why you would build a Magic deck that doesn't do anything. It just... That doesn't make any sense to me. You know what the most fun I can possibly have playing Magic is? Not doing anything at all. <laughs> why? <laughs> How much that doesn't make any sense? <laughs> do you play magic to do nothing? Like, I just, hmm. My god. I guess I'll get an exhibition. Draw our two. I'm gonna take another black source here. Look at this handful of stuff. Like just a handful of removal. If we'd have had this hand any time we, tonight we were playing against any of the aggro decks we played against, we would just steamroll them. Instead, we get all this stuff when we come up against the control deck. We have eight cards in our hand, so we should play something. I guess we don't have to. <laughs> there's, no, there's no rule that says we have to, you know? Oh, mascots. Let's just get counter spells out of their hand if that's what they have. Or get sweepers off of their foretell pile <laughs> if that's what they have. I wonder if they spend all of their mana on the hole breaker. No, they demon bolt instead. Okay. That's what they foretold, a demon bolt. 
Super cool. Could have sacked it to the dispute there. I don't think it's the time. Hinata. Okay. It's the Hinata deck. Five cards left. Let's try to drain a counterspell out of their hand. Could you just could you just do it? I have to spend the treasures. Like I must spend the treasures. Why would you do that, Arena? It's really annoying. Let's sack a treasure to dispute. See if they uh, take the bait. Oh my god, they do. <laughs> they do still have a bunch of mana up, though, so it's no guarantee we resolve these spells. But let's go with a binding, because, you know, if we don't have to spend extra mana to target with it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gonna target stuff for, for cheaper, you should do it now, right? Right? Yeah. Come on, bud. Come on, Valid From. Don't you want to cast a Magma Opus or something right now? What if they do? They could. That's what they're doing, isn't it? You're going to cast a Magma Opus? That's what's taking you all this time? Yeah, that's what you're doing. You did the thing! You did the thing. Let's tip our glass to you and tap this for black and this for blue. And I guess we could probably go ahead and Deadly Dispute. The 2-1 away. Seems fine. Yeah, cool. Super cool. They get their 4-4. Four, four. They spike field hazard the 3-1. Very nice. Another tip of the glass to them. So let's kill the Hinata. Let's go ahead and Infernal Grasp is 4-4. I'm not trying to screw around too much. Now, at this point, if they have Magma Opuses, though, they can just play them, which it sucks. <laughs> and let's uh, really hope that doesn't happen. Gold spam. My God, here we go. Here we go. We got to face down the uh, Gauntlet now. Expressive Iteration. Yeah, cool. I'm not going to sack this treasure to do nothing. <laughs> Arena. <clears throat> I'm begging the Arena client to make sense. <laughs> the Prismari command is their get off the iteration. Goldspan gets a treasure, swings in for four. We go to 13 eventually. <laughs> eventually we go to 13. It's going to happen, guys. I promise. Maybe we'll go to a lower. Maybe they, they show of confidence now. No. And Prismari Command. Create a treasure. And they want to draw two, discard two. So they want their show of confidence. They want their combo win right now. They're super greedy and they need it. If anything, they'll probably just draw more gold spans. They can come in with a uh, Hall of the Storm Giants if nothing else. So even if we, like, meat hook here, could still kind of end up sucking. We have to spend most of our mana to meat hook. I guess we can meat hook and then Kaito and get a 1-1, right? But they can probably still remove the Kaito 1-1. Swing in. We'll see, though. Opponent does have uh, all of the right cards in this game so far. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess we're used to that tonight already. A lot of that tonight. Tell you a, good, a quick tip to win with this deck is make sure the opponent doesn't have perfect cards, because you know, it'd be hard to win that way. Um, let's try and hook them. One, two, three, four. Should I go with more? One, two, three. See, if I go with more, then I I almost guarantee to kill this thing, even if they have like a buff spell. But they wouldn't want to waste their show of confidence right now. But they would. They would, right? I'm going for it. I think I have to. Alright, that kills that. 
Cool, so that was the right play. There was all kinds of things making that potentially not the correct play. Right? But... Mm. Next turn, if we have to, we can try and Tamiyo Binding. That'd be cute. But we might not have to. We really have to do something about this. They have another gold span. They have another gold span. Of course. Perfect cards. Again, I don't know how you can beat perfect cards. I, just, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. But, you know. Perfect cards. Perfect cards. Super cool. Super awesome. Alright, so I guess we just try to mask her again here. But first... Let's get in. We can just die to burn now. They have something. They have something they're clicking through. Like, oh my god. Let's draw the card first. They have something. <laughs> At least that means we know they don't like have a creature. So that's good. Stir down the land. It's the hive. And let's try and mask her again, I guess. <laughs> We have four mana after that. So I will actually mask her for five. Three. Yeah. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three mana open. That means we can pay for any wacky counter spells that we might have to pay for. Unless it's a syncope. We cannot pay for syncope, which kind of sucks. Can we pay for syncopate on four? We have four mana open. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, we couldn't. So it doesn't matter either way. This plays through a show of confidence while still letting us play through like a draw or disruption or something, so I'm going for it. Alright, so if we Gloom Shrieker this turn, I guess we get back a Binding. Or a half. We can get back a Meat Hook. <laughs> We should Gloom Shrieker though, because we have to be able to play through this hall. Scott Hall. If we had the mana, it'd be nice to get back a Sky Turtle. We have the mana for a Twitch too. Actually, this is gonna see this is gonna be so weird. But I'm gonna do the Twitch and then play it. That way we have two blockers. In case we need two blockers. Like, maybe they remove the Gloom Shrieker, get in with the hall, and that would kind of suck, so, you know. Let's try it this way. Oh my god, the Shatter Skull Smashing. Can you still get in with hall? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No, apparently not. That's good. Any of these cards playable? It's like teachings. Not necessarily. Is intro okay? Not really. Sciences is life gain. Okay, so yeah, they can swing with Hall. That sucks, dude. Shadow Skull Smashing is like the actual best thing they could have. That's so dumb. That's so... God, perfect cards. Perfect cards! <laughs> but they're going to play something else. They're going to Prismari Command instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They had they had even more perfect cards than I thought. They had even more perfect cards than I thought. 